Welcome to Comic Chop News. I'm Dan, and my special guest today is Gambit. Hello, I'm Gambit uh, from Gambit Sync. I'm a tattoo artist, and uh, can I say I'm a comic book artist now? You so, can, you're self published. Right, I'm self published comic book artist and uh, nerd, and, uh, uh, and I like movies and comics. So today, he is a huge Jason Momoa fan, <laughs> so I thought, who better to review Aquaman? We just saw the movie. We got out, and before we get to it, we're going to talk about the DC Universe and our thoughts so far on the film slate. So, we can start right away with Man of Steel. Thoughts? Wow, <laughs> Man of Steel. Well, first of all, do you like Man of Steel? There are parts of it I love. There are parts that don't feel very Superman-like to me. Okay, I see, I see. I, I like the movie. I can see what... Uh, I can see the parts that are not Superman-like, you know? Um, I... I think that uh, Snyder was was on the right track, but he didn't have the time to to get everything that he wanted to get done uh, in time. I, I feel like we could we should have seen a movie, uh, an extra movie or two by him in order to all this make sense. Can we agree that Krypton was one of the better parts of that movie? Yes, I, agree. I actually. <laughs> I agree. Russell Crowe flying on a <laughs> dragon, like it, it's awesome. That was that was that was actually one of my one of my favorite parts of the movie too. Yeah, yeah. Pa Kent for me was an issue. I, it's dumb, it's nitpicky, but the thing that made me love the Donner one is Pa Kent died of the heart attack. There's nothing Superman can do to stop that. To stop that, yeah. A tornado took his dad. I feel like Superman could have stopped that somehow. I agree with you. I agree with you. My my problem with my problem with uh, <clears throat> Pa Kent. <laughs> was not only the way he died, I think that Superman is fast enough to have prevented that from happening and people not realizing it was him. Or people will be like, all right, I'm not going to say anything. Like all the other kids that he saved from the school bus, that it's like like a well-known public secret in that town. You know, the, the, the Ken kid can do a lot of stuff, you know, <laughs> just don't tell anyone. And he, and the other thing that bothered me about Kent was uh, the way he he said, "No, you have to hide who you are. You have to." I feel like that was not Kent like at all. Yeah, um, Lois Lane finding out his identity real quick seemed a little off brand, but okay, she's supposed to be a whip smart yeah. reporter. I get it. Um, the Zod thing. It took me a while to understand why he had to kill Zod. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> at this point, but. I got it at the end, and then seeing where it went, which will go into the next movie now, BVS. <laughs> I've gotten so much hate for saying that I like that movie. <laughs> I like parts of it. The Batman warehouse scene is great. The opening with the city getting destroyed, Batman <clears throat> being the idiot who runs right into the middle of it. Oh, I think it. that was perfect. The way they synchronized the, the, the fighting on the Man of Steel with the intro of BVS, I think it was, that was brilliant. Um, we get Lex Luthor shortly after that, which you can love or kind of hate that performance. And I feel like he was doing the social network's Mark Zuckerberg impersonation again. Mm. Um, I've also heard that that impression was built on the director slash writer Max Landis. Huh. Which I, I will say that if that's what he's like, I, do, I need to stay far away. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wonder Woman, I can't say enough good things about in that movie. Um, the way they introduced her, I would have loved more of a cat and mouse game between her and Bruce, where she's this seductress that he's chasing, that yeah. he's intrigued by. Um, but of course, we had to run to the finish. Uh, Clark was not what I wanted after a second movie. I wanted him to get past that mopiness and questioning himself and be a little bit more cocksure and... Not love his powers, but kind of enjoy himself, enjoy and I himself did not him. get that. Yeah, I, th I think I think the first part of that movie, we I, I would have understood having a Clark Kent. That's all. Oh shit, man! You know, depressed and all that. I get it. I mean, I get it. I understand why he's feeling that way. Or, I mean, I think I understand if I had those powers and I had <laughs> happened to have gone through all the things that he has gone through. I'm, I'm pretty sure I would be feeling more or less the same way. I can understand that. But obviously, we don't have all the time in the world to to watch all in a single movie. So I guess that 
the 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 last part of the movie be just before the doomsday thing came out he would be a little bit because i think it would have, it would have made me made me feel a little bit sadder for for superman dying if i would have liked him a little bit more as a as a person you know and i'll get right into my gripe right at the start <laughs> i do not need to see the frank miller interpretation from year one of the pearls on the ground i've seen it we've seen it a million times i don't need to see that origin especially when it just sets up a cheap throwback later where he's gonna say martha and i know people have explained it to death to me about why i don't understand the importance of it it just felt bad to me but it leads me up into one of my favorite scenes where wonder woman is fighting doomsday and the part where he smacks the shit out of her back feet <laughs> and she smiles and charges headlong. Yep. That is the most Wonder Woman scene you could ever have. <laughs> I did not need Superman to die in his second freaking movie. Nah. I needed Man of Steel too. Um, maybe not maybe. Goyer writing it, but I really would have liked the Brainiac story and having two space aliens come to Earth now because of Superman I think would have made Batman more eager to step in yeah. uh maybe a batman movie should have happened but they were rushing to catch up with avengers and i don't know if they genuinely needed to they should have taken their time and built the universe yep, instead of bvs going hey look at this video we found hey look at this video we found look at this video we found also <laughs> hey there's a dude in the ocean um we got there we had to take it i understand it again the warehouse scene with batman oh brilliant Snyder knocked it out of the park <laughs> and that I got to that weird feeling of he doesn't want Superman in this movie He just wants to do Batman, but he has to have Superman in this movie. I could be wrong. That's me projecting and From there we will move on to Suicide Squad Oh man, Suicide Squad. I, I wanted to love that movie so much and the minute I saw how The Joker was gonna look I said nope. I I am not I am not going to enjoy this and I still gave it the benefit of the doubt and I bought the Blu-ray I still have it at home and I watch it every once in a I while. I watched the alternate cut. <laughs> exactly. I bought it because the alternate cut because they said there was more Joker. So my big problem with the movie, one, I was a huge David Ayer fan. I loved Fury. End of Watch was brilliant. So I was thinking I was getting this gritty movie and I got a music video. More importantly, I was sold a false bill of goods. Yeah, they hyped the shit out of Harley being in the movie, and she was in it a lot. But for how much they put Joker in all the previews, he was misused. Oh, yeah. He was Definitely. in there, not in flashbacks, for ten freaking minutes. And the, the whole thing for the movie, Enchantress is a terrible villain. Terrible, never should have been there. It should have been a cat and mouse game where Joker wants Harley back. So Joker, to get it, Waller is invading Waller's safe houses and going after it, making them have to come to him. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. Maybe they'll fix it in part two. I didn't think Leto was terrible. I have problem with the looks, but it is what it is. That's what we got. And now we have Joaquin Phoenix doing an alternate reality one. <laughs> so... We, we, I think I, I read not long ago, uh, I might be mistaken, that the whole idea for Suicide Squad was a little bit more, they were going to show a little bit more of Steppenwolf and, and Parademons instead of the the Power Ranger things that we they, they yeah, got Yeah, the got giant fight, eyeballs. You know? I have a problem with, with creatures that are just... Uh, like the Green Lantern parallax at the end, but I let's had, not get I there. had flashbacks to Joel there. Schumacher's Batman and Robin at certain points. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, it really got to me. But we got the after credit scene of Waller meeting Bruce Wayne and giving him all the files. So we got something cool. out of it. Um, again, Harley was great. She's going to keep having movies. They're doing Birds of Prey with not... Barbara Gordon in it. Yeah, so. that's, yeah. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> so then we have hate it, love it, CGI mess that it was. Oh, man. Justice League. I'll start it off right now. People hated Joss Whedon's writing or what they think he wrote. Yes, he made Batman crack jokes about his ribs being broken. I'm kind of fine with it because I don't know who wrote it, but Superman by the end was the Superman I wanted. Yeah, I agree. Ezra Miller as the Barry Allen was not the Barry Allen I really wanted. He felt more like a Wally or Impulse to me. Yes. 
a little too jokey for my liking. Um, Wonder Woman again, they made her a star. Oh, I went out of order. Wonder Woman should have been before that. Yeah. We'll we'll get back to Wonder we'll, Woman. We'll get to, Wonder Woman was good enough that we can we can leave that one for the for the next. Um I think with Justice League Justice League uh I Why Steppenwolf? <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, I think it's okay. I mean I, I Oh man, I, like I said, I think that if we would have let Snyder do a little bit more, if if the if Warner Brothers would have let Snyder, like okay, do your thing and and we'll come back and check up on you later, you know, and and just let him do his thing, it would have been a completely different movie. And I and I like this Justice League, but there's a bunch of things that I know, like oh my, oh, that, the, the CGI, the CGI was really bad. And and I, although I do love uh, Momoa as Aquaman, I honestly would have preferred to see another character in that in that in that uh, role uh, instead of Aquaman, another character completely. Or, or have Jason Momoa do Lobo, you know? I would have loved to see Lobo instead of, uh, of that version of Aquaman. Yeah, Lobo is you know? a little... Too, but Momoa, though, he did have a couple of... Like, he was touching the lasso. Like, that was no, a great yeah, scene. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I, I love it. I think, that, I think that's one of my favorite things about, about it, you know? Uh, uh, I'm a huge fan of the dude, so... But, uh, like, I love the way Snyder shoots stuff. I think he cripples himself with bad writers some of the time. And that is some of the problem. Uh, I mean, it, it pained me at the end and the after credits to see Deathstroke show up and know that whole other script was thrown out with the Arkham Deathstroke Batman for that Batman solo movie. That would have been um, awesome. I've heard the Deathstroke movie is still on track, but no date. Uh, who knows how long that director is going to stay in place. I don't understand what happens with what ha what's happening with these people. You and know? I also felt the movie kind of was like them saying Batman was leaving because he kept going. Well, I have to prepare for when I'm gone. I have to prepare for putting Diana in the position of power where she's yeah, yeah, going to yeah. be the team captain. Like he was stepping back. They had the hall at the end. Again, there was stuff I really liked. There's that part where Flash is running up on Clark when oh, he, they I resurrect him. <laughs> and he's just staring him down and he gets scared. I was thinking about that just now. It's, it's one of the best shot parts of that movie. And then the Flash Superman race at the end, which it's... That was great. It's fan service. Yeah, I yeah, love every yeah. part of it. But it's okay. I'm, I'm okay with some fan service every once in a I, while. I dig it. You know. So as we alluded to before, Wonder Woman... It's a World War One movie, or yeah. is it two? Two, two. Yeah, yeah, two. So, Gal Gadot up to that point, I didn't think she was a great actress, but I don't know if it's because Chris Pine acting against her. The two of them were such a charm factory of chemistry, where I started falling in love with them watching the movie, and it was distracting to a point. But the whole Paradise Island stuff, bringing her up, they stuck with an origin. Went with it, and I'm glad for that. It wasn't the made you out of clay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never was a fan of that. Uh, the, what was it, the No Man's Land part where she finally puts on the armor and just walks out in the middle of the battlefield. Oh, that's... Great that's scene. Perfect. Yeah, that was, that was great. That and was then cool. we get the curse of bad CGI and a not great villain again. <laughs> Didn't cripple the movie, but... We kind of get what's going on. Like, it's just... Aries just wasted, but I love that actor, David Thewlis. Yeah, I, ag I agree. Um, I think my one of my, my, my favorite scenes of that movie is when they, when they go into this village and, and, and they help out, they help her out uh, taking out the, the, the sniper on the top of the... Yes. I, think, I think that was great. I was like, that's awesome. And, and at the end, uh, the... It was a little bit, yeah, bad CGI. Kind yeah. Of throw it off a little it, bit. I will also go to the, yeah. a lot of people criticize Zack Snyder, sometimes earned, sometimes not earned. His casting for this, pretty good. I think so. I, like, of course, again, I think the writing and some, some intrusion by a good chunk of WB is sort of the downfall of yeah. what's gone on so late, made them a joke. I, I'm not even ridiculing this as a Marvel fan. I want DC to succeed. It's good for everybody if DC succeeds. But they just haven't hit what they need to. At least with the common fans. 
appeasing them and the <clears throat> fanboys all in one shot. That's that's difficult. And the problem, and I think that's a that's a big problem. Uh, trying to 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 please those both worlds worlds at the same time. You know, it's a it's it's gonna be it's it, that's always going to be a problem. You're always because you wanting to 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 please one group. You're not gonna let the director take some risk that might play well. You know, I'm one to think that if you if you you make a a, a risky move decision for a movie or a character or whatever, and it and it it's good for the story and it helps the story. I can I can throw away the book for a minute. You know, I can disconnect myself from the from the source material. Well, I'll, I, I'm not gonna. I don't want to compare Marvel, but. Somehow they managed to make Tony Stark, who is an arms dealer, making money off people, seem like a pretty great guy you want to hang out true. with. That is true. I mean, I, I mean, Marvel, Marvel has a solid formula, you know. They, 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 and you can see this formula in movies like Rocky Five or Rocky Four, I think it is. You know, you can you can see more or less the same, the same, the same beats, you know. And 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 they went, they went, they made sure that they give you something that's visually entertaining with some jokes, some action. You know, and and made sure that they could cover all the all all their bases. You know, I agree with you. I uh, mean, Kill Killmonger wanted to commit genocide, and yeah, people are just like, I get it. Do I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with Thanos. Yep. They got yep. rid of the bullshit thing with I love death, so I want to kill half the universe, and they're like, Oh no, I'm trying to make the universe better by doing this, like, and you're like, like yeah, that, Okay, actually, he's yeah. got commitment now. Like, there, there's a reason. It's not love of death. So I, again, I don't like making the comparisons. I think it's not fair to compare to compare the the Marvel movies with the DC movies. Ten years to get to where Marvel finally became Marvel. Yep. DC just sprinted within three years trying to hit. Trying, and I think that was a problem. They 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 they, they treat this as a as a race, and they should have taken their time, do things with, you know, one day at a time. Not going like, okay, so we have to shoot this in ten days, and we have to. Have that CGI done in two hours, and the score needs to be recorded in less than a week. So, let's do this, people. You know. So now we're here for the movie <laughs> we all came here to talk about. The one, the only, the joke of many heroes, Aquaman. Dude, start it off. You're the fan. <laughs> Listen, um, when when I mean. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Okay, so the the movie I love this movie. I wasn't expecting a good movie. I was expecting expecting an entertaining movie. You know, I and I get it. I I I I, I get that we all want to see this amazing thing on the movie theater. But I go now with the, my expectations are like if it entertains me for two hours and I can enjoy that, it's okay. I'll 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 take some bad things. But this one surprised me, especially the CGI. I, I I was expecting the underwater scenes to be terrible, and it's a movie called Aquaman. There's gonna be a lot of underwater scenes, and they were actually fantastic. The colors, the 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 soundtrack, the sound, everything. I think it was it was amazing. Yeah, I, I can't give James Wan enough credit for stepping from his comfort zone of horror and then doing the Fast and the Furious movies, and now moving over to doing this huge action <laughs> superhero movie. But uh, touch on what he talked about, the sound design. When something exploded, you felt it. Yeah. The, the bass was so heavy. Uh, he brought kaiju into it. <laughs> there were a little bit of Raiders of the Lost Ark with them looking for the trident. <laughs> Uh, Amber Heard is the princess who doesn't need to be saved, nor wants to be saved. Yep. She's a badass. Cool. I, her work, I'm not overly familiar with. I've seen a couple of movies she was in. Uh, All the boys love Mandy Lane. I think was one of them. I'm not familiar with her work at all. Yeah, horror is not really your thing. Yeah. That she did a lot of horror movies. Yeah. I did beginning. see The Conjuring. I did see The Conjuring for one. Yeah. <laughs> so. She was actually better. Um, their chemistry improved as the movie went on. Momoa cracks his jokes. Tamura Morrison playing his dad. You were a little bit sympathetic. He had some jokes, which after seeing him as Django Fett was a little off-putting. Really? <laughs> I didn't see... Here's the thing with him. I didn't see Django Fett. You know how sometimes you see an actor that you've seen in another movie and you, you, keep sti you, you still see that other characters like Johnny Depp, you see Johnny Depp in every character that he plays. With this one, I, I did not see Django. I actually saw this old man. Oh, I saw him as Django immediately. Um, 
Nicole Kidman has a badass battle scene right near the beginning. Dude. <laughs> Black Manta Dude. is intense. Um, not in the movie as long as you'd like him to be, but his scenes when he shows up, you remember. Where did they? Where did they? Oh, oh, Willem Dafoe shows up and he's not playing crazy. He's the, what normally would be the Liam Neeson role. Yeah, the wise, um, the wise old man. Patrick Wilson is Ocean Master slash Orm. Uh, his character's a little arch, but you kind of get where he's going. Um, his mask near the end actually moves and emotes with him. Kind of like the Brave Fogel Batman. And it's pretty fantastic. I can't say enough. And the surprise of all surprises, Dolph Lundgren has a huge part in this movie. <laughs> and I thought he was Viggo Mortensen for at least 20 minutes of this damn movie. And at the credits, I looked, and I was the only one who was shocked that it was him. <laughs> Apparently, uh, there's fish people, amazing amounts of them. There's all kinds of tentacle creatures. If you're a hentai oh, fan, yeah, you might dig yeah. it. I mean, you, have to, you have to be a hentai fan. You can like you can like Lovecraft, and you know you you get your fix of tentacles there. Too. By the way, there is an Easter egg in the lighthouse of uh, a Lovecraft book about the sea creatures that is in the lighthouse. Yeah. Uh, there is also the trench. the trench. If you're read the Jeff Johns books, you know what the trench are. They're giant sea. Well, not even giant sea creatures. They're rabbit sea creatures that will munch on your face. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, I, I, I am not going to lie. I'm, 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 I started enjoying the Aquaman character more when the new 52 came out. Same. Yeah. That's when I said like, huh, this is actually a pretty interesting character. And that's when I started to enjoy, uh, reading about Aquaman a little bit more. And then they announced that it was Jason Momoa. I was already a fan of the, uh, uh, of the guy. So it's like, it's not what I, I'm not going to lie. It's not what I was expecting to, who I was expecting to be cast as Aquaman, but that's what I got. So I said, I'm going to roll with it. And I, I haven't been disappointed and finally got to see the movie. And, and wow, <laughs> wow, dude. He, he also, at one part when he has the trident, he kind of does a lion -o thing with it from Thundercats oh, to talk to the, all the fish. I mean, communicate them. Communicate, he doesn't, he doesn't, communicate. He doesn't tell them what to do or command them. They made that clear. There, there, there was a, there was a talking about the the fan service thing. Uh, I, I, I was concerned about that a little bit, but they they played it super well. They made actually a good job about it. You know, it doesn't, it, it actually doesn't feel like a fan service. The thing honestly. that bugged me the most was the octopus playing the drums during the arena battle. That oh, for yeah. some reason that stopped me in my tracks. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I read a a review not long ago and and. and it was a review that actually was trying to make the movie sound as a bad movie. And I was like, everything that I read up, uh, up in that review about the movie made me just want to watch it even more. And I thought the person who wrote it was joking about the octopus and the drum things. But, yeah, it doesn't even going to take you away from the movie at all. It's going to be like, oh, ha, yeah, sure. That, I believe it. I, I, I believe that that can happen. And also, I internally cheered because I couldn't yell in the theater. He gets the outfit. He gets the seahorse and rides on it. Like, ah, I, we said I, no spoilers. I, I, we said no spoilers. That's, that's, <laughs> that's not spoiling it. Like, there, there's twists and turns. Oh, okay, well, I'll put slight spoiler on the front yeah, of it. Yeah, slight, slight spoilers, slight spoilers. But that was the fan service of the movie. And I accepted it. I ran with it. I loved it. The battles are fun. And it feels like I'm giving too much of a blowjob to this movie. It's not a great movie. Like, it's fun. It, it is what you think it is. I mean, Jason Momoa is not Shakespeare. He's not going to be doing Shakespearean acting. Not at all. But don't expect, don't expect he, that. he pulls it off. He does what needs to be done. He gets his one-liners in. Uh, they, he's treated like the doofus from the overworld for a good chunk of the movie. And, again, go out and see it. It's a fun movie. It yeah. brings... I'll, I'll take it there. It's the most... DC movie that feels like a Marvel movie. If that's what you're into, yeah. You, it has the humor. It, yeah. There is some darkness. Mm -hmm. There is lightness. There's a little bit of a romance story in it. Uh, it's a little bit of Game of Thrones even in it, trying to figure out who's the king. It's very colorful. It, it, the colors for underwater. There's bioluminescence, yes. which it's they say cool. that they can only see from their eyes adjusting underwater. Uh, they explain why... He's so strong. The reason why he has the powers he has, 
which every Atlantean seems to have except talking to fish. I mean, communicating with them. Communicating with <laughs> fish. That's a, that's a special one. That's, it, that's what makes him unique. <laughs> but I imagine an IMAX 2D, it'll look better. We just went to the regular screening because we wanted to go early. But an mm -hmm. IMAX 2D, the colors will pop even more. The sound oh. will be better. And I would probably recommend paying the extra to go see it like yeah. that. Oh yeah, I would. I would recommend it. I'm. I'm actually going to go see it again. I I'm probably gonna, will. And I'm going to see it on IMAX. It's like I said. It's very colorful. It was very fun. It was. It was a very entertaining movie. And and like you said, it's not. Don't expect Shakespearean quotations. You know, but but also, it's not as bad as as what we're used to right now. You know. So moving on, what movie coming up for DC are you excited about? We have Shazam, Birds of Prey. There's a Harley Quinn movie. There's the Joker self-titled movie. Um, yeah, there's one, a Suicide Squad too, but I think that's yeah. on wait and hold. And I mean, the Matt Reeves Batman. Let's just take it off the table till the script's yeah, actually finished. It, yeah, exactly. It's like, is that actually is that still happening? The final script or his last another, pass is supposed another, to be turned in in the new year. Another script. Well, they did a touch pass. He dra first draft, second draft, rewrites, <laughs> final draft. But I like that they're taking their time. Yeah, no, take, yeah, that, take your damn time. That's you actually can't. that's actually we, we we I I was say we were saying that a minute ago. So yeah, it's good that they're taking their time. I'm actually looking forward to to Chasam a lot. I I it's one of those characters that I'm familiar with it since I was very little, you know. And 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 to be honest, I just know from uh, my favorite stories that I've read from 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 the character are the, the is the one that Jeff Smith that the Monster Society of Evil yes. and I love him in uh, uh, in in Kingdom Come obviously oh, evil one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and uh, and the Geoff Johns uh, New Fifty Two version which obviously this movie I did like that version it, it, it looks a lot like him I did like that version a lot so I'm actually looking forward to that one the other ones I've Believe it or not, I'm not a huge fan of Harley Quinn. If I get a Harley Quinn movie, yeah, that's I watch awesome. them, I watch them all. Like the Joker movie fascinates me because Scorsese is yes, involved. That's what I want. Joaquin see about Phoenix, that. I think, could do an insane performance where he's gonna be dark, and the fact they're doing the makeup, kind of how like Heath Ledger talked about, it's war paint. Yes. It's, and just to see, is it a crime movie? Because there's gangs of them running through subways of Joker. Is it connected to the to the to the Heath Ledger Joker? No, is it? It's I, not even connected to I think the regular DC okay. expanded universe. It's just this standalone movie. And I'm a part of me is like, is it like the Scott Snyder Red Hood Joker that was running around during uh, was it year year one year zero zero year. The year. Yeah, is it like, going to be like his character or is something going to happen that gets him to this point? I'm fascinated by because nobody seems to know jack shit about this movie. <laughs> Except that he dresses as a joke. Yeah, <laughs> that he's a failed comedian, which is a little bit killing joke there. Um, we actually have people cast for Birds of Prey, which I, I'm a huge I fan of Elizabeth Win Mary that. Elizabeth Winstead <laughs> and the fact she's playing Huntress. I will go see this huh. damn movie. All right, you got me there. <laughs> uh, I forget who's cast as Black Canary. My mind went blank right after Mary Elizabeth Winstead. So I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, Ewan McGregor's playing Black Mask. Oh. Yeah. Black Mask is going to be in a freaking movie. We had Black Manta in a movie. Rocket Raccoon in Marvel Universe is in a movie, for God's sakes. And we're going to get Black Mask, who's my one of my favorite Bat villains oh. because he's kind of funny and a schmo. I, I, that, I like it. <laughs> I, I I can't I can't lie I dig it. I mean, see, Will McGregor as a, as a, as anything I, as I, a I'm bad gonna, guy. He... I am going to I'm going to see it, especially if it's a bad guy. It's like yeah, I'm I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to that now. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's probably going to wrap it up for us. Like it, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for spending your time with us. I appreciate it. Um, if you like it, let us know. Um. So we're going to say goodbye now, and we're going to send out a special farewell, and, well, not even a farewell, it's a shout out, and yes. Merry Christmas to our good friend Sid. She is in Japan teaching English and trying That's to tame awesome. kaiju by <laughs> listening to Brand New and the Shins with them. I don't know if it's working, but I hope it is. <laughs> Bye, Sid. We miss you and love we you. We miss you a lot, Sid. Bye. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Thank you, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs>